New discoveries and advancements in our understanding of the world around us are not always linear. Sometimes we uncover something new that means we must alter what we thought we knew. Sometimes we discover something that will fill in a blank on our timeline. The world is always changing, giving us more to research about our past, our present and our future here on Earth. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be taking a look at three fascinating discoveries that have changed or added to our expectations. Three thousand seven hundred year old Babylonian stone tablet gets translated and changes history. We often hear tales of archaeological breakthroughs and ancient artifacts changing our historical, sociological, and cultural understanding of societies, both modern and ancient, but it is much rarer for our understanding of maths to shift so significantly. But an ancient stone tablet donning the name Plimpton 322 or P322 has done just that. P322 was first uncovered in the early 20th century by archaeologist, antiquities dealer and Indiana Jones inspiration Edgar Banks. The tablet was discovered in modern days southern Iraq and is now being held at Columbia University. The tablet displays four columns and 15 rows of numbers inscribed in suniform, a writing system used and developed by the ancient Sumerians of Mesopotamia. Interest in the Babylonian tablet picked up in the 1940s, when the suniform writing was recognized as numbers that reflect the Pythagoras theorem, a mathematical theory that most teenagers are familiar with. Teens all over the world have memorized this theory verbatim. The square of the hypotenuse equals the sum of the square of the two other sides. The discovery and use of this theorem in Babylonian times has sparked a great deal of discussion lasting for decades. Mathematician Dr. Daniel Mansfield and his research team from the University of New South Wales in Sydney, Australia, were studying P322 after seeing an image of it whilst designing maths courses. Mansfield said, I'm sure it's trig, I'm sure it's trig, but how? The endless rules of trigonometry have haunted many people, high schoolers frantically memorizing for exams and graduates who still get nightmares. But P322 did not display endless rules of sine, cosine, and tangent. This trigonometry had a makeover. From the Greek astronomers who were long credited with first uncovering trigonometry to the modern day usages, we have always used the rules of sine, cosine, and tangent, figuring out angles and approximate measurements, rounding up to make these complex numbers functional. But the Babylonian tablet could be telling us that not only was there another way all along, but that they found this way first, beating the Greek researchers to the punch by 1500 years. In this Babylonian approach, complicated angles have been replaced by ratios. Mansfield described P322 as a clean and easy way to use trigonometric table. The team unraveled the tablet's meaning and concluded that the lengths of the sides were calculated in ratios, not angles. Mansfield discusses the revolutionary aspects to this tablet, explaining that whilst we may prefer to stick with angles and not shift the status quo, the outside perspective is amazing, reflective of an ancient society and a simpler approach to mathematics. Dr. Mansfield stated, we have to really get outside our own culture. Mathieu Ossendriever, a historian on ancient science from Humboldt University in Berlin, reiterates the value of this discovery, pointing out that the angles we use are only approximate, giving us rough figures we have deemed close enough. By comparison, the use of ratios is far more accurate, leaving the maths as an altered and exact. Despite all the excitement that came with this discovery, there is still a good deal of speculation surrounding the use of this table. Ossendriever explains that there is no proof that the table was utilized in the ways we use trigonometry today, despite what the research papers are claiming. Another much harsher criticism comes from science historian Joran Freiberg, who retired from the Chalmers University of Technology in Sweden. He emailed Science magazine stating the Babylonians knew nothing about ratios of sides. He instead believes links to trigonometry are purely coincidental. Despite other researchers' uncertainty, Mansfield and his team maintain their belief that P322 is an early trigonometry table and was used for architectural purposes, constructing palaces, temples, and canals. Whilst there is a good deal of speculation, 
the debates surrounding this 3,600-year-old tablet are becoming more exciting and more relevant. Could we incorporate ancient approaches into modern-day teachings of trigonometry? Only time will tell how practical the use of ratios is in trig, but we do know that the dreaded maths of right-angled triangles has been around for much longer than we thought. The genome of a human from an unknown population has been recovered from cave dirt. For decades, tracing populations, both human and animal, has relied on dating remains from bones, with other informants like tools helping to give us clues, set some expectations and act as evidence supporting the genetic information we receive. Recently, however, we have taken a step forward, identifying the presence of a woman who lived 25,000 years ago without any bones in sight. An analysis of mud from beneath the floor of a cave has revealed traces of a woman who was alive in the last ice age. Alongside this woman, we also detected wolf and bison DNA within the same sample of dirt. We do not have masses of information surrounding this group, though the woman, wolf and bison represent a huge turning point in the field of archaeology, the ability to identify ancient populations without any bones having been preserved. Not only did we rely on bones to conduct research like this before, but we also needed a great deal of luck to find them. Bones need to survive potential harsh conditions as well as the general decaying over time. A human skeleton can be nothing but mummified skin and tendons within just 50 years, and by 80 the soft collagen in bones decomposes, leaving bones to crack. This rapid decomposition rate can make the discovery of ancient bones from several thousands of years ago much more difficult. Furthermore, environmental conditions can either accelerate or delay this process. Not only do the bones have to survive, but they also need to be in a strong enough condition to preserve the DNA, as this is what gives us the information that can lead to breakthroughs and discoveries. Bones are not the only indicators of human activity in an area, however. Stone tools, for example, stand the test of time far more so than human remains. We have known for years that the cave in Satserblia in Georgia was an area with lots of human activity used for thousands of years, and yet from these centuries of use, only a single woman's genome has been sequenced. The researchers led by evolutionary biologist Pierre Gelebert and archaeologist Ron Panhassi of the University of Vienna in Austria went to the Satserblia cave looking for environmental DNA. They took six soil samples, from which they found genetic material in mitochondrial DNA. This created a fragmented picture with pieces of a puzzle that needed to be painstakingly sequenced. A huge task, but one with rewarding results. Only a small portion of the woman's genome was found, but even from this small snapshot, researchers concluded she was a member of a previously unknown group of modern humans. The group is extinct but could be an ancestor to present-day humans in Europe and Asia, a link made through the comparison of the genomes. The wolf also represents a now extinct species, demonstrating the significant evolution and changes to wolves that occurred 11,000 years ago. The bison DNA has been tied to the living bison, though linked much more closely to the European and Eurasian bison over that of the North American bison, suggesting some point before the Satserblia cave bison was when the lineage divided. The discovery that DNA can be preserved in sediment is a revolutionary discovery, with the ability to transform the way we conduct archaeological research forever. Amazon rainforest now emits more CO2 than it absorbs. It is no secret that the climate crisis is growing worse with each passing day. The harmful effects of burning fossil fuels, the pollution of the environment and the disastrous impact of deforestation has been known for years, and yet little has been done to prevent this. And now, as of July 2021, the Amazon rainforest, which has been helping us reduce carbon dioxide emissions, cannot help us anymore. Scientists have confirmed that the Amazon rainforest is now emitting more CO2 than it can absorb. One study shows that these CO2 emissions from the Amazon alone are reaching a billion tons each year, when in the not-too-distant past, the Amazon had absorbed CO2 emissions from elsewhere 
reducing the overall levels of carbon dioxide polluting our atmosphere. Instead of reducing harmful gases, the Amazon is now adding to them. One key factor is fires that are deliberately being set to use the land for beef and soy production. Other contributors are the ever-rising temperatures and the increasing frequency of droughts, all of which have accumulated to make the southeast region of the Amazon a source of CO2, not a way to reduce it. The state of the Amazon now should serve as a dire warning that the climate crisis, particularly the use of fossil fuels, is at an all-time high and acting is more urgent than ever before. The encouragement of deforestation by the government of Brazil's president, Jair Bolsonaro, has been heavily criticized, with some European countries discussing blocking an EU trade deal with Brazil until action is taken to help the Amazon. The climate crisis poses a real threat to us, to animals, to plants, and to the Earth. With the Amazon now producing more carbon dioxide than it is absorbing, the crisis is reaching staggering new levels of severity. New research and discoveries happen continuously throughout society, resulting in new ideas, understandings, and expectations for future research. But what do you make of these past and present discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.